Hi, Gemini. Welcome back. So, Gemini, this is going to be a reading for the month of July. Uh, not going to be for all of you, but if it does resonate, please do like, share, and subscribe. This is a you versus them. So, Gemini, I'm going to pull cards on you, what your hopes, fears, next steps are. Then I'm going to pull cards on the person external to you, what their hopes, fears, next steps are. Um, keep in mind that you versus them doesn't have to be love. It's whoever is predominantly in your energy for the month of July. Um, so this could resonate with family members, friends. It could be intimate partners, exes, etc. Right. So uh, take keep an open mind and take it as it resonates. Uh, because it's general, it can be interchangeable. So please keep that in mind as well. Also check out my other tarot page. Tarot Talks with Dana for more fun stuff, um, as well as my social media account links down in the description box below. Thank you. So, Gemini, uh, overall energy for uh, this spread is the Six of Pentacles, so I like that. Um, that is talking about feeling in a more generous type of mentality. Um, wanting to, you know, have relationships in your life or jobs in your life, etc., that have equal give and take. Um, it talks about investing your energy wisely as well. And so we see how that uh, resonates as we continue with the reading. I'm going to keep it general at first and then I'm going to get more specific at the end, okay? So overall energy on your side for uh, July is the Two of Pentacles. Now in traditional tarot, the Two of Pentacles talks about um, trying to juggle too many things at once. Um, and it kind of causes a stagnant energy. So be careful with that. Uh, it also talks about kind of being in two minds about something. Um, you know, the twins, Gemini, you are the twins. So it can speak of the both sides of yourself that maybe you turn on and turn off when you need to. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's part of being a Gemini, but for some reason, that's your overall energy. Now, in this deck, though, it has a very specific meaning. It's someone sneaking up on someone else. So there might be something that either comes out of the blue or sneaks up on you quite literally in the month of July. So we'll see what that's about person you're dealing with is in the eight of cups for their overall energy this person is um walking away you know for some of you from you uh for others of you it could just be you know trying to leave the past in the past trying to uh move past any hurt i heard childhood hurt and i don't know why that is uh, maybe that's something this person is working through or needs to work through because it's affecting who they are now. Um, interesting messages. And as I look at the bottom of the deck, it is the page, which is a childlike energy. So let's see how you view this person, Gemini. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So you view this person as someone either you're currently committed with or that you see a lot of commitment potential with or you would like that. Um, I like that. Or for a few of you, this person is committed elsewhere. We'll see. Wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't mean to be dramatic. Um but they have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, too. Same card, different deck. So I think that they see same or similar with you, okay? Some of you are definitely in a commitment with this person. Um, others of you, they, they see that potential there as well, okay? Now, they view you as the Moon and the Three of Pentacles. Again, this is working together here. Um, they view you as a bit, a bit of a mystery, Gemini, <laughs> you know? I think they have trouble maybe pinpointing where your intentions are, um, you know, kind of what lies underneath that personality, okay? Um, <clears throat> I think that overall, though, this is a cooperative energy that they see you in. So they may see you uh, working to build yourself up or, you know, wanting to be in a more cooperative energy with them. 
So end of July, or I should say mid-July to the end. What can Joe and I expect? Okay. You have the Magician here and the Two of Swords. Again, a little bit of a different meaning to the Two of Swords in the Sexual Tarot, uh, but I'll read both. So you're in manifestation mode, Gemini. I mean, seriously. I think that you've been at a crossroads for a while and maybe you felt like you didn't have enough information or knowledge in order to move forward, but I do feel that <clears throat> you want to move past that. You know, you want to manifest that for yourself. You're kind of getting in your own way, though, getting stuck in your head or in negative patterns that maybe you have developed, um, negative thinking, things like that. So be cautious of that, Gemini, because it will block this manifestation energy here. So person you're dealing with. Wow. Okay. So they are in the Queen of Cups. Uh, it was in the reverse, which this is the only deck I would say I prefer the Queen of Cups in reverse. And I'll tell you why in a minute. And then the Page of Pentacles. In this deck, upright, the Queen of Cups is someone who's extremely resentful. Okay. Don't ask me why, but that's just the depiction. In the reverse, I would say they're coming out of that. That's what I feel this Eight of Cups is about. If someone has been resentful within the relationship, we're going to be moving past that in July. Why? Because they want another opportunity here. They want a new beginning here. Victory at the bottom of the deck. So let me clarify some of these and see. I particularly want to know the magician here. But I'm going to clarify the two of pentacles and get a little more specific for you. <laughs> yeah, the hierophant. Some of you, this is definitely a relationship. Uh, but like I said, it's a general, so it could represent partnership or I'll tell you all the different meanings here in a minute. Oops. Eight of Cups. Yes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Remember I said that this person is walking away from childhood trauma or issues or needs to work on that? What do I get clarifying it? The Six of Cups, which is the card of childhood. Past. The past. Walking away from the past. That's what this person's energy is in this this uh, next two to four weeks here. I feel like you've been very patient with this person um, or they, you, the seven of pentacles is here. You probably invested a lot of time or energy into this. I'm going to say regardless if this is a uh, love partnership or career partnership or whatever family friend partnership it, it's not someone new this is an established relationship here okay i have too many cards of the past and investments in long you know established type of energy so i feel like you've been patient you might have waited for this person to commit to you if you're not committed already and they're finally trying to move past some issues that they have been needing to move past that have been blocking the energy here. Yeah, the Five of Cups. That's the energy they're moving past loss. Regret for a few of you. So if you're no longer with this person, this is just a small group of you, this person secretly regrets not trying to work on it more. And that could be why they're coming, they're letting go of resentment and coming back around to try 
for another opportunity. They might have re they might regret the way that they have treated you. Yeah, because they want a new beginning. The Ace of Wands. Um, for those of you who didn't have an ending with this person, they they're in a much more cooperative energy uh, this upcoming month. Um, and they're coming out of some sort of um, overly emotional, imbalanced, resentful type of vibe. Almost almost too, too much of the other side of it where they might be a tad bit unemotional. Um, but it's because they're trying to stabilize their energy and have a new beginning themselves. What's the magician? Oh, wow. What's the Queen of Cups? Oh, wow. Okay, so two different groups here. I'm going to get to that in a minute. What's the Page of Pentacles? The Emperor. Yeah. Okay, so like I said, for a lot of you, this is partnership, relationship type vibes. Um, I think that you have past history with whoever this is regardless. Overall, there's more of a Six of Pentacles type of energy surrounding you this uh, upcoming next two to four weeks. Um, I think you're trying to stabilize the wishy-washy energy or the back and forth in your mind, okay? Um, I think that there's definitely some sort of regret in the emotional sector. And... You know, I think what's what someone is regretting is possibly not being more cooperative in what the other's passions were, what the other's dreams were. And um, the other partner I feel is, or I feel is you, Gemini, is trying to be patient in the situation. Um, now, what I don't like is that the... You are in manifestation mode towards the end of July, but be careful with that because if you're if you're not clearly setting your intentions of what it is that you want uh, to manifest in your reality, you very well could manifest conflict. Um, it's particularly if you're trying to use any manipulation tactics, it will blow up uh, in your face. Or in this person's face if they're doing it to you. And I think it will put you into your emotions again. And that's what you're trying to stop bouncing back and forth in between. Someone also who may manipulate to maybe get their way. That may be in your life. Maybe totally separate from this situation. Um, may cause conflict at the end uh, of this time period. Mid-July, end of July. And then try and come back around and make things right. But caution. Because uh, there's, there's still somewhat of an emotional manipulation here. And I feel like the, the tactic may have been with this person to cut communication. You know, cut off their emotions towards you. Not speak on what they're feeling or simply not speak to you. And then, boom, for absolutely no reason, out of the blue, they're ready to reinvest. They like to be in control. That's for certain. Could be dealing with the Aries. Doesn't have to be, though, because it's a general reading. I don't like that energy. That's going to block you from what I was stating earlier about manifesting into your what you want for your goals, I think career-wise mostly, but for whatever goals you've set for yourself, whatever progress you're making, that 
energy, this person has the ability to completely block that because it throws you off. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. For others of you, you have a relationship here that's doing just fine. Like I said at the beginning of the reading, your partner may be finally moving on from things that need to be moved on from. But there's someone else. There's some type of family conflict or... Just be careful here towards the mid-July about who you're trusting with your emotions, okay? Okay. Um, I feel though that someone is quietly getting over, uh, resentment regardless. And if it's you that that's holding on to resentment, then that's the best thing you could ever do is to, uh, let go, you know, um, of the need to hold that within yourself. Um, if it's this person, then that's a message to your cross watcher. I really feel it's mostly the person you're dealing with that is needing to let go of some sort of resentment that they've been carrying with them for a long time. And it may not even have to deal with you. They may take it out on you. Their behavior traits may be stemming from that, but yeah. So, um, Gemini, stick with, stick with your guns here. This is the Hierophant. This is trumping your energy. This is someone who's immovable. If you have something that you have invested in or you've been investing in yourself and you've been pulling in people and things that are good for you and are also willing to invest that same energy into you, Continue to do that. If you have someone here who, you know, yeah, is regretful because maybe they didn't do that, be cautious about allowing this person to keep bouncing back and forth or blocking your energy in some sort of way. You know, you want to um, place a healthy boundary there for yourself. All right. So that is your reading, Gemini. I'm going to end it on that note. Zodiac signs I have out you, that could be in your chart or the persons you're dealing with chart. Could just be the energy around you. But I have Taurus. I have Pisces. I have Aries. Uh, Cancer. Scorpio. Possibly Leo or Sag. All right, so those are the predominant energies that I'm seeing. But like I said, it's going to be different for all of you. That just could be the energy surrounding you. Don't get caught up on that. Either way, I wish you the very best, Gemini. And until next time, namaste, my friends. Bye.